And as we check out that forecast tonight, things have been pretty quiet here today and all throughout this weekend. Temperatures pretty awesome. Little taste of summer here today as we saw those highs mainly into the upper 60s, into the low 70s across the region, even into the upper 70s here across the western portions of our area. So definitely beautiful conditions out there this evening. Right now, we are looking at some quiet and cloudier skies as we take a live look from our Golden Group camera from downtown Rochester looking towards the Plummer Building. Winds right now pretty breezy out of the southeast around 13 miles per hour. Those temperatures, though, sitting mainly into the low 60s here across the region. Still sitting into the 70s, though, as we look towards uh, Albert Lee, Austin, even towards Mason City and Charles City. So overall, still pretty decent here for tonight. Those winds very blustery and they'll stay windy here throughout the night as well. Right now they're sitting about uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour and they'll stay windy uh, throughout the overnight hours. But as we head into the next several days, we're tracking a couple different things. Most Im immediately uh, we're tracking the chance for some storms overnight tonight. Now some of those storms could be on the stronger side, so we'll have to watch very closely and monitor that for the rest of this evening. Heading into tomorrow, we'll look to see more sunshine for the afternoon. Temperatures seasonal and cooler uh, back into the low 60s. But as the week progresses, we are looking to see those temperatures continue to trend cooler even back into the 50s, even the 40s for the late week. But in terms of that storm threat for tonight, these storms do look to move in and kind of linger throughout the overnight hours. So as we kind of look towards the western portion of our viewing area, uh, kind of along the I-35 corridor is when we'll start to see those storms kind of approach towards about that 11, 12 o'clock hour tonight. Entering the Roch Austin Rochester area towards about 1 a.m., 2 a.m., and then kind of continuing throughout the area throughout the rest of the morning. Most of this rain activity looks to be out by about 6, 7 o'clock, and then we'll continue to see uh, improving conditions as the morning continues. So right now, as we check in with our precision radar, things are staying dry and quiet here across the Fox 47 viewing area. As we look towards the west, towards Redwood Falls and St. James, those are those thunderstorms that we're tracking here for this evening. Lots of lightning. These storms have been severe before, but right now, so far, no active warnings uh, to my knowledge. So we are going to continue to track these storms here as they progress. These storms are firing off along a cold front that's making its way through the area. So very well-defined, potent cold front that you can see those storms kind of developing along. They'll continue to push through the east here as the evening continues and produce some heavy rainfall and some gusty winds as well. By the time they reach us here, I'm not expecting any of these storms to be severe, but some of them could be on the stronger side. So as we time things out here with our future cast, we'll see these storms entering the I-35 corridor area by about 11 o'clock midnight tonight, continuing to push east towards the Rochester area by about 2 a.m. or so and then continuing to linger through for the morning hours. So as you wake up by about 6 a.m. or so, we'll see those rain showers continuing coming to an end towards about that 10 11 a.m. hour becoming much sunnier than for the afternoon with temperatures into the low 60s. So overall, we'll see very similar quiet conditions for your Tuesday. It's going to be another nice day. Tonight temperatures will be into the upper 40s to low 50s with those thunderstorms likely here during the overnight hours. Tomorrow then we'll see those highs into the low 60s with plenty of sunshine for the afternoon and your extended forecast showing those low 60s lasting through Tuesday and Wednesday getting much cooler though as we head towards the second half of the work week. Looks gorgeous. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Well, it was a beautiful weekend for a